Morning, good morning guys. So this is gonna be day number two of working on the fence. Hannah is just finishing up a video and then she's gonna be out to help out. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna set the four corner posts. Once we have those set up into place, then we can draw a line uh, using some twine between each of the corner posts. Then we can get all the other posts in place um, and then we can make sure that they're obviously all gonna be straight and they're gonna be at the same height as well. So yesterday I did even more research about the best way to set uh, fence posts. A lot of people said, well basically the overwhelming majority of um, posts and stuff that I saw articles were basically saying to not set your posts using concrete because basically what happens is when the concrete is surrounding the bottom of the post, it traps in moisture. It doesn't allow that part of the post to really breathe and so that basically causes uh, the post to rot prematurely than it normally would. So our plan of attack is to do a bit of an aggregate method, I guess you could say, is we're basically gonna, we're gonna fill the bottom of the hole with gravel, we're gonna set the post on top of that, fill the hole up with a mixture of gravel and a little bit of cement. So the cement will really hold everything together because the soil is really soft here because it's so there's it's so sandy. And the gravel is gonna help keeping the bottom of the post dry that's buried in the ground um, just so that it doesn't rot. Because a lot of the posts that I read, people are saying that um, they would have to replace their posts in five or 10 years just because of the fence posts would rot out because of the concrete. So that's obviously something that we don't wanna do. We want the fence to last as long as possible. So we're gonna do a mixture of gravel, a little bit of concrete that we're just gonna sprinkle in there just to kinda keep it all together and keep it secure. And that gravel is gonna be nice just to keep everything a lot drier. So the first thing that we're gonna do on the corner post is we're gonna use a shovel and we also have a little hole digger here uh, just to kind of clean out the holes and get them to the proper depth and we just got a delivery of gravel and rock so I'm just gonna take the ATV down there uh, start filling up some buckets and uh, then we can start setting these posts <laughs> So this is one of the main reasons why we got the ATV, we got the trailer, is to basically move stuff around, right? As you can see, we just got a rock delivery, so we got 15 tons of, uh, of river rock, and then we got 10 tons of gravel here. And it's coming down our road. Garbage truck. Anyway, so, yeah, so we got 15 tons of the river rock, 10 tons of gravel. So a lot of this rock is gonna be used for permaculture earthworks and a little bit of uh, decoration as well. The gravel we're gonna use for the fence posts and also in some parts of our driveway, uh, just where it's like, it's really, really sandy. But the ATV is really crucial. It's a lot cheaper than a tractor. A tractor is obviously gonna be a little bit more versatile, um, but the ATV is really nice as well. It's been nice that we've had um, so much rain recently. Last week we had over an inch of rain, so the soil is a lot, uh, it's a lot more moist, and it doesn't backfill as easily on its own. It's just not, it's not as sandy. It's kind of more like a wet sand, which makes it a lot easier to dig these holes. And then also, the hole actually keeps its shape, and it doesn't just like cave in on itself. So we're down right at about three feet for the depth of this hole. So we're just gonna put a little bit of gravel in the bottom, so it'll bring it up maybe an inch or two. And then we can set the posts in the hole and start backfilling with a, with a bit of gravel here. Sprinkle in a little bit of cement and keep backfilling with gravel, a little bit more cement. And then we'll just take a bucket of water, pour it down there, and it should really uh, solidify everything pretty well. Oh. 
I think to set this up properly, I'm just gonna wait for Hannah so that one of us can hold it so that it's so that it's level. Then the other person can start back filling in the gravel and the cement. And I think that'll that'll be good. And so we got our level, got our gravel, got some concrete. So we're not professional fence people either. So yeah. all the people that have businesses and stuff, <laughs> like give us a break. Like we're just yeah. doing the best we can. Yeah. No, you wanna hold so you wanna hold the level like that. Okay. Now check the other way. So this is pretty sturdy. We'll do some corner bracing um, later on before we actually put the fence up. But I think that should be good for the cement. So we're just gonna fill one of these buckets up with a bit of water, pour it down there, and then it should be good. Yeah, we can put more gravel. You do that. Never mind, got it. I got it. You got it? Okay. People are always like, HCH, what's your exercise routine? Doing this shit? I don't have an exercise routine anymore. It's <laughs> just working on our property. <laughs> and walking. We walk around. Nice. Okay. There. And then we can cover it with sand so that it looks normal. Really yeah. One down, about 25, to go. 25 more to go. Post? Yeah. I picked it up. <laughs> All that broccoli. broccoli. The struggle is real around here. All that broccoli. Should I do concrete or? I would do a little bit more gravel and then layer it with some concrete. This is like the off-grid weightlifting series. Yeah. If you're doing squats with cinder blocks around here. A lot of people have mentioned that I've gained weight, and it's muscle. They, they think it's muscle, but a lot of a lot of it's fat. It's I'm not I'm not gonna lie. He looks so much more like manly, though, right? Yeah. When I first when we first met, he was like skinnier than I was, and he looked emaciated, like a little boy. And he looks like a man, <laughs> <laughs> especially with the man stash and the flannel and the boats. You guys like the mustache? It's growing on me. It's growing on me. It feels a little weird. First you never I was had like a lot. Shocked that you could even grow one. And I was like, where'd that come from? <laughs> and then the patchy beard on the side. It's like, yeah, embarrassing. It's pretty. All right, hot. so I pour some water down, just a little bit, maybe about half of what you have. Ooh, That's what you say in Minnesota. You guys ever say that? What's that? Oofta. Oofta? No. Must Oofta. be a must be a Minnesota thing. Oofta. Pour, pour the rest of it in there. The gravel? Yeah. Whoa! There you can you layer go. some sand in this too? Just gonna get all the layers going. <laughs> Big aggregate. It's kind of like vibrating. Like jerking off the. Jer jerking off the pole. Yeah, there we go. You're better at that than me. <laughs> I've more experience. Jerking off. Jerking off than you probably do. I thought this was a family friendly channel here. It's only family friendly like 75% of the time. Yeah. The rest of it are true. Nature comes up. <laughs> People are like, I don't know about you guys. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head down back to the gravel pile, fill up the buckets, and uh, do the next post. All right, so we've got four corner posts done. So we have this line here that is, we have it five feet up on each of the posts. So that one there, since we weren't able to get it any deeper because there's a big rock, 
Um, that's why there's a lot more sticking up at that end, but there should only be about two or three inches. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set a post in place here um, just to see exactly where our distance is um, above grade and just to also make sure that these are gonna be lining up together as well. So we don't want posts to be like three inches that way or four inches that way. We want them all in a, uh, in a straight line. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we've got nine fence posts in place. So there's, uh, we're about a third of the way there. So we're gonna work on getting the rest of the fence posts um, set up over the next couple of days. So probably two more days of setting fence posts. We'll mount the gates, make sure that the spacing is fine, get the fence up, and then it's pretty well gonna be done. So if you guys are enjoying these log type construction videos, give us a little thumbs up, and um, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace.